Good evening and welcome to News 10 on my Fox 10. Last year, we told you about the financial issues making it tough for the West Richland School District in Illinois to stay open. Well, this year, there are already plans in the works to merge those students with nearby East Richland schools. News 10's Matt Gregory has the latest. It's new for you tonight at 10. Spring sports in full swing. These students may not know it, but this may be the last year their teams wear East Richland on their jerseys. Next year, they may just say Richland. Approximately 2010, the governor of the state of Illinois talked about really combining school districts. Since then, Superintendent Marilyn Holt and the East Richland District have looked at possibly annexing nearby West Richland, a school district hit very hard by the state's budget crunch on education. I was very impressed with the West Richland Board, still am, uh, how they really studied the issue and looked at the dollars and looked at the opportunities that they were able to provide their students. The West Richland School Board in May of 2013 wrote a resolution to dissolve their district and be annexed into East Richland. However, in July of 2013, West Richland citizens signed a petition to stop the annexation. But the fall of 2013, another petition came up in West Richland this one to annex with East Richland. So with that, the Board of Education at West Richland then took this back to the Regional Board of Trustees. And so in January, there was a hearing and we have now received an order that we are to uh, proceed with annexation. Which means next year, this building will be quite full as East and West Richland cease to be separate districts. In Omni with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Matt Gregory, News 10. Superintendent Marilyn Holt did admit not everyone is as positive as she is on the future. She told News 10 several parents of the West Richland District do have a lawsuit against the annexation.